Okay, the last maneuver of the, of the ground reference uh, maneuvers I want to show you today is a rectangular course. So rectangular course, effectively what you're doing is you're maintaining a straight line uh, along certain boundaries, along a square boundary of a field, uh, trying to maintain a constant distance along those boundaries as you uh, circumnavigate the field. So uh, this is commonly, this is a great technique that you can use in the, in the traffic pattern. If you're in a traffic pattern, you can use the techniques we'll show you in rectangular course to make sure you don't drift too far or too close away uh, to the runway uh, and that you're landing on. So what we can do is right now, if you look onto my right side, just past me, there's this big field open here, and we want to choose an area where we have four boundaries that are about, about a mile in length. If you look off onto your right wingtip, you'll see a road. And then just below us right here, dip my wing down, you'll see a road running parallel to us. We've got the road by the red barn, if, if you look off the right side. We've got the road parallel to us. There's actually another road on the opposite side of this road that parallels the road that we are, we're on right now. And there's another straight line down uh, by these tree lines, where the forest is, if you look out to you, about one o'clock, these tree lines right here. So that gives us a good large field. We're also going to make an emergency approach and landing if we need to. Uh, but it gives us long enough boundaries that we can demonstrate our uh, technique of crabbing. As well as, as we're turning and traversing each boundary, uh, our ability to adjust bank angles. You know, if we're in the downwind with a high ground speed, we have to have a steep bank angle. If we're in the upwind, uh, going to crosswind, we'll need a shallow bank angle. But, you know, adjusting the bank angles is in, if we have wind, if in a no wind situation, just like Rick uh, turns around a point or S turns, you wouldn't adjust the bank because there's no wind. So, you know, when you're doing the maneuvers, make sure that you do have wind by doing something like a wind drift circle. What we're going to do is I'm going to go outbound here to about the west uh, west of those fields. And since the winds are out from the west, I'm going to enter on, on the downwind. 45 degree entry to the midpoint of the downwind boundary. What I'll do is I'm going to turn back around and I'm going to find the midpoint, actual reference, the midpoint on the ground, and draw out about a 45 degree angle to that, uh, to ground references on the ground, so that I can track on the 45 degree to the midfield of the downwind boundary. Okay, so there's our field coming off to about your 11 o'clock. I got my red barn. So I've got my road at my downward boundary, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to point the nose to the midpoint of my downward boundary. What I'm going to do is do so 1,000 feet and 100 knots, adjust the power as needed. And now I'm going to maintain about half a mile away from the, all my boundaries as I traverse around the rectangle, of course, uh, to traverse around the field. That's about halfway up the wing strut. If you look straight ahead, you'll see cars on the road. So, coming up to my midpoint, right about here, I'm going to turn onto the downwind, right here on right rudder, looking for traffic, so that I get the field halfway up the wing strut. Now, since we're on the downwind, there should be no wind correction. There's the road on our left-hand side, halfway up the wing strut. There's our other, uh, the base leg, if you look at the road that's per perpendicular to the downwind leg. What I'll do is I'll go past the downwind, uh, the per base boundary, so about by my tail passes the boundary. And I'll clear left. Now, since this is the base, you're actually going to have a high bank angle and increased rate of roll. And this turn will actually be slightly more than 90 degree turn because you're going to be uh, facing a per per perpendicular to the wind, so the wind's going to push you away from the boundary. I'm going to turn slightly more than 90 degrees, just the power to maintain 100 knots. Still looking at my boundary to make sure I'm about half a mile away. Adjusting my drift as needed, so if I'm, if I'm drifting too close, uh, take out about 5 or 2 to 10 degrees of the wind correction that you put in of a crab. Maintaining my boundary. Now, if you look here onto your left-hand side, you'll see the upwind boundary. 
and we'll go past the boundary till my tail passes. And I'll clear left now. This will be about a medium, about right overall medium bank. And so I'm going into the upwind. Again, in no wind condition, you'll actually just maintain 30 degree banks all the way around. And we'll roll out here. This will be a less than 90 degree turn since we had more than 90 degrees the other time. The downwind. And again, looking at my wing, looking to make sure the boundary is halfway up the wing strut. Looking out for traffic and adjusting for airspeed and altitude. This is the upwind. Won't require much wind correction. Now, as you see on the left hand side, you'll see this tree line coming up underneath the wing strut. That's our crosswind boundary. As my tail passes it, I'll turn left. Now this will be a shallow bank with a slow rate of roll because the wind is going to push me towards my boundary. And this will be a less than 90 degree turn because I'll have to face into the wind, which is to our right, and our boundary is to the left. We get about halfway up the wing strut, the, the boundary halfway up the wing strut. If you look out to our left hand side, you'll see the boundary halfway up the wing strut. Looking up for traffic, adjusting our wind drift as necessary. We're trying to maintain the same ground track around this entire rectangular course. We entered midfield. Now we're coming uh, onto our downwind. If you look off your left wing, you'll see the downwind boundary. Wait for your tail to pass. Now since we turned less than 90 degrees on uh, crosswind, uh, upwind to crosswind, crosswind to downwind will be a more than 90 degree turn. Tail on left rider, looking for traffic. Neutralize your controls now. So this is a steep, uh, steep burr bank at 30 degrees. And roll out onto traffic your downwind. One o'clock, same altitude, one mile. I'll shoot downwind, and uh, what we'll do is traverse up to the point where I do have traffic in sight on our right-hand side, so watch out for them. Going to go down on the downwind boundary until we at the downwind to base boundary turn, and uh, we'll exit 45 degrees. Here's my downwind to base boundary, and we'll exit 45 degrees off to the right. Nice rectangular course, maintaining a constant ground track around the rectangular course, increasing and decreasing bank angles with rate, higher rate of rolls, lower rate of rolls, and crabs. So the ground, so the rectangular course, you kind of use uh, both types of wind correction. Those are your ground reference maneuvers. Those are what you'll uh, do to to increase your flying skills and pilot technique of uh, adjusting for wind uh, and adjusting for ground track, uh, determined ground tracks. 